just one month in, the Baxter Arena is delivering a one-two punch to another arena already struggling to fill its seats. Today, the Ralston Arena learned one of its main events will be fighting in a new ring. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. And I'm Craig DeGrelli. The guy who runs Victory Fighting Championships is taking his bouts to Baxter, and the manager of the Ralston Arena feels like it's a low blow. Reporter Nick Starling is live to explain tonight. Nick. The Ralston Arena is home to the Omaha Lancers, the Beef, the indoor lingerie football team. No longer the VFC. The Ralston Arena, more bad news coming its way. As opening its doors just less than two months ago, the Baxter Arena has a new tenant. Where victory begins. The Victory Fighting Championship announced a new partnership with the UFC and will now call the new and bigger Baxter Arena home. With the UFC in our three-year contract with Baxter Arena, Victory's future is brighter than ever. They are leaving the struggling Ralston Arena. You know, we needed to uh, find an option to accommodate us for, for our growth, and, and Baxter Arena was that option. This move is another gut punch for the Ralston Arena. You're kind of set a budget, and you kind of count on those things happening because you got to sign a contract with them. All of a sudden, you don't have that contract. The Ralston Arena is operating at a loss of over $40 million in debt. The general manager of the arena says he's not happy with how VFC is leaving the brand new arena down the street with Baxter poaching their new current tenant. You would hope that as uh, you know, general managers of the buildings that we're not going behind each other's backs and trying to talk to someone that you know is under contract. Something Baxter says didn't happen. They said VFC reached out to the arena a year ago. We're certainly um, not, uh, not focused on going out and trying to take business or poach business from anybody else. Uh, however, when we're approached uh, about something, uh, for a variety of reasons, whether they, as I mentioned, want to grow, want to just a change of venue, it happens, we're certainly, certainly going to listen. Ben S. says there was one more event scheduled this year with VFC and three others in 2016. Each show around ten dollars to $20,000 in profit for the arena. We at this turn will now have to probably sue VFC to get our money back and go to court and the whole nine yards on that part. But it would have been a lot simpler if you had just stopped by and said, hey, here's what we're going to do.